The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. This is a course about meaning. The idea is to understand first what the standard model is for understanding how it is that we can use language to communicate, to transfer information between us. Um, the second part of the course is to understand why vagueness spells disaster for the standard model. Sometimes when people teach a graduate course on vagueness, they do so in a very puzzle-oriented way. This is not how I teach the course. I think of it as a big picture course in the philosophy of language. The idea is to use vagueness to understand how meaning works. There's something one might call the standard model, uh, a picture whereby sentences have meanings and we can use these meanings in a theory of communication to explain how it is that language works. The way I see vagueness, uh, it destroys the standard model. So I think of the course as an effort to first understand why the standard model is threatened by vagueness, and secondly, to try and find an alternate model that can explain how communication works in spite of vagueness. A typical class session will consist of overall discussion uh, amongst everyone in the seminar. So uh, there is very little lecturing. What happens is we've all read a text, and uh, I might say a few words to get the discussion warmed up. And after that, people bring up problems, we discuss the problems, and it's in these interactions that we acquire an understanding of what's going on. In teaching a course about vagueness, one faces a challenge because the literature is enormous. So one has to either discuss many texts in not too much detail or discuss a few in a lot of detail. And I choose the latter approach. So I've picked maybe 10 or 12 texts which I think are especially illuminating. And we spent a lot of time getting to understand each of them really well. I think this would be a difficult course to take on one's own. Uh, if someone wanted to take it from a distance, what I would recommend is finding a partner, finding someone to do the readings with and discuss them. If one has someone to, to talk these things through with, it makes a big difference because the issues are subtle and it's often difficult to identify them on a first reading. 